Taking a look at our last question for the evening, question number 10 from our fractions chapter review. Uh, we have six and a half and we need to subtract um, five and seven eighths from it. Uh, so you have two options. You could do your stacked method. Um, well, I mean, there's more than two options, but two options that we mainly use. Um, or we could turn them into improper fractions and subtract, and that is the option that I'm going to go with. Um, so we have six and a half, and I want to turn that into an improper fraction. And we have five and seven eighths, and we want to turn that into an improper fraction. So we're going to start off by saying six times two is 12, plus one is 13, so my numerator is 13. Denominator stays the same, two, minus five times eight is 40, plus seven is 47, over eight. Now. We need a common denominator. Right now I have 13 over 2 minus 47 over 8. Um, our easiest option would just be to change 13 over 2 so it has an 8 in the denominator. Uh, so I'm going to multiply that by 4 over 4. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top, which is what a lot of you forget to do. So make sure you're multiplying the top by 4 as well as the bottom. Um, so 4 times... Uh, We've got 4 times 13 for the top, uh, which is going to be 52. Okay, and then um, we have 4 times 2 on the bottom, which is 8. And we're subtracting off 47 eighths. We have a common denominator now. Okay, so doing this method, we're just going to take... Um, 52 and subtract 47 from that, which is 5. So we have 5 on the top. Our denominator stays the same as 8, and that's our answer, 5 eighths. Uh, so that was a lot quicker. If we had done the stacked method, um, we would have ended up with 6 and 4 eighths on top minus 5 and 7 eighths, and we would have had to borrow because of the 4 in the numerator, so we would have had to make the top uh, 5 and 12 eighths. Um, so that whole idea of borrowing can get a little tricky. Um, and you would have been left with 5 on the top, uh, you know, you would have had 12 minus 7, which was 5, and um, 8 remained in your denominator, and then 5 minus 5 is 0, so you would have just had 5 eighths as your answer uh, with that method as well. And that is it for question number 10. If you guys have any questions, please email me.